Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a quick look at physical inventory counting, stock taking or whatever you like to use as the term for counting physical stock within your storeroom or warehouse. The few stages to this, um, let's go through them. First of all, obviously, we need to look at what items have or have not been counted before. We can see the process they're in, where they're at. We have kind of two stages for this uh, denoted by these two bars here. One is the count status, how far through the count we are, and the other one is the posting status. Uh, as those items get counted, we can make sure that they are correct and everything else before we post them to actually post the inventory to say how much we physically have. Of course, this all starts with creating the count. What is it that we actually want to count in the system? We can then go and physically count it. And the way we're going to do that today is using a Fury app that we've done a little bit of development on to actually uh, put on the mobile phone. And then, of course, we analyze and see using the same tool, you know, what was actually done, how was it counted, and of course, finally post it. And we can take a look at what happened as a result of that posting. So let's go through it. To start off with, we're going to create the physical inventory document. Now, here I have a... Um, a list of items that have not been counted or have been counted and i can see the days since the last count movements and everything else that have happened against them so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select this item of course we could select loads of items in hundreds in fact if i wanted to i'm going to create that physical inventory document really quickly on that it says then how do you want to split that document we could create it against uh, splitting it by material groups material types and those types of things i don't want to do that I, I could split it by numbers so i could say okay there's there's 20 um items here i've had 200 items to count that means i could have 10 people counting at the same time that's all good in this case, it's very simple, it's just one item, so I'm just going to count it really quickly. And I can see here that I've got uh, my count number, this is my count sheet, if you will, uh, ends in triple four, which is great stuff. Okay, now, I'm now going to flick to using my uh, phone here, and you'll see this is my personal iPhone. Well, I've got it in my hand here, so I walk out onto the floor. I need to uh, go count something, so I'm going to go into my Fury app, as you can see here. It says physical inventory. I've only got one thing on my Fury app. I'm keeping it simple. I can go into physical inventory here and select that for counting. Okay, and of course, we could have called that counting if you prefer the term count as opposed to physical inventory. Let's put in the document number. So it was, and again, I could search for this if I wanted to by material and everything else. Uh, triple four there, all good. So that will bring up my count to do. And as we can see, it's saying, uh, here's the material description. Here's the count number. It's not been counted yet. And it's actually got a bin number of PR. P R A T underscore 10. Of course, that bin number is the bin number the stock is sitting in. How much do we have available? Let me go count it now. I'm going to really quickly count all the stock in there. If there was no stock at all, I would use the zero count button. The reason we do that is it's too easy just to just to count zero on here. So therefore, obviously, I accidentally count zero, that is. So um, we use that button instead of that. So again, on my mobile here, let me enter in that we have uh, five of those sitting in the bin location. Happy days. Let me uh, now enter that count and the system will tell me that the count is complete. There's nothing left to do. I'm all good on my mobile. So now I can go back to the office, walk into the office and go back to my computer. I might want to look at, sorry, excuse me, that's the wrong system. Go into here and now I want to monitor my count. How far through have the guys got and counting on the floor and everything else? So let me go take a look at that. I go into my um, my physical inventory counting. I can go into my physical inventory overview, doc inventory documents here. I put in, you know, which, which area am I counting generally in the warehouse or whatever it happens to be. Uh, I can run that report now and that will show me all of my physical inventory documents. I might not want to see all of them, but it's quite nice to see that some have been completed um, and posted. Some have been just completed, but haven't yet been posted. Some of them haven't been counted yet. So you can see the two steps involved in here. I've just completed the count step. We then need to do the posting step, which basically is to say, I'm happy with the count. I'm gonna wear whatever the changes are. Let's do it. Anyway, so let's scroll down to my count here and as we can see i counted my one of one i've done the stock take there could be hundreds of items in there of course so what i can do now is i can go into this count and i can take a look at what the result was of that count again there may be many many items on this i'm just doing one for the sake of uh, making life easy there were three uh, on the on the system i counted five as you probably remembered so i've actually upped the count by two in here 
happy days. We've got more stock than we thought we had. Uh, if I wanted to, I could look at that in more detail and everything else. But the final step of this, of course, is to, to accept that count and say, hey, I'm happy we've got more than we thought. I'm going to write that on now. I'm going to post that in the system. So this is the final step of that. And if I go back to um, this overview here, you can see I've done the first step. I haven't completed the second step. Okay, so now I need to post the result of the count. So I go into here, post process physical inventory count results. And I need to put my count number in here, which I've actually defaulted in already, which is great. I then click on execute and it will show me what the difference was. Of course, the same thing as before. But again, I might have lots and lots of items in here going down. The, the book quantity was what was originally on our books. Uh, I counted five, therefore the difference is two. Nice and straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. Of course, I could have done a select all on all my items. And I'm going to post the difference. In other words, I'm going to post that into stock now. So when I click on post here, what the system will now do is it will post that. It's created a physical inventory, um, sorry, a material document to make that difference in the posting. I now have five of those items in stock because I counted them up from three to five. Uh, if I now just to complete the process, go back to my initial um, screen here where we looked at the um, where we looked at the, the document overviews for that, which is awesome. I should be able to see if I scroll all the way down. Unlike some of these earlier ones that haven't been completed, my one, which is right at the bottom here, has been counted and it's been posted. Everything's done, and that's how we do a stock count. So, essentially, just to recap, of course. We look at those, those documents, what has been counted, what hasn't been counted, what status are these items in, how are we doing our counts, have we counted them, have we posted them. We want to create a new count, we create the count, we went and counted it using the app there, obviously going onto the shop floor and counting things, and then obviously we can manage that count, how are we progressing, have everything counted once it has been counted. I can check the differences and see where we were from start to finish, what are we up, are we down, and everything else. And finally, of course, posting that count to make the actual stock adjustments. Thank you for your time, I hope you found that useful.